feel like I have to talk about this. So, as recently, I found out, you know, what my mom's family and, you know, my siblings on my mom's side have been saying about me. And it didn't surprise me, but it hurt, you know, um, because it's like, what did I do to you people? Like, it didn't make any sense. Um, I let everybody, I love everybody unconditionally, and I just never seem to find anybody in my life that's ever loved me unconditionally but my dad, you know? That's the only person, excuse me, that's the only person that's ever loved me unconditionally. And, you know, as of recently, you know, it's really starting to really set in that he's really gone, you know, um... And it's making me feel even more lonely every day. Um, but, you know, it's just astonishing how people, you know, family will literally crucify you to, to your back and then, and then smile in your face. You know, and because, you know... I know that they say bad things about me because I've always seen the kids act differently around me, act standoffish, um, sometimes don't want to come inside my house, you know, and it's just like, it's only because their parents are telling them stuff or they hear, overhear their grandmother saying stuff about their aunt. Now, I'm my mother's child what did I do for you to be sitting here with sitting down with my other family members like my sister and my brother and my grandmother and talk about me um in front of my niece them like <sighs> I can't you know it's just it, it hurt me to the core and you know I, I'm really working on my forgiveness but this is putting my my, this is putting that, that skill to the test, boy. Um, forgiveness is, I don't know. I'm not ready. I don't know if I'm ready to forgive them for, you know, acting like I was, I'm such a bad person. Because I've never done anything to them or to their kids for them to be saying stuff about me, you know. And it's just like they paint pictures bad pictures about me in um Jamaica where I'm from and um you know my brother and other people that I haven't been in touch with in a while just been telling me things that was said about me and it's all making sense now because that's why the kids have been always acting a little different around me you know like just acting standoffish to me like somebody warned them to not get too close to me or something I mean seriously what did I do that was so bad you know I'm really trying to figure out what did I do that was so bad for my mom to be saying stuff about me for my niece them to be acting weird to me and the other family members you know if you know they said that I haven't been working in years um, if I haven't been working, how have I been providing for these children that I've been bringing into this world? How? Why would you sit there and chat about me and say that I am not working? You don't even... What? How, are you paying my bills? If you're not paying my bills and I don't have a man to pay my bills, what is this? Are the bills paying themselves? I don't understand. You know? And then now that I'm doing security, I'm getting, oh, all this praise, like, oh, now I'm working. Oh, excuse me? I've been a CNA in the state of Florida since 2007, okay? I was an aide to one kid till 2018, which between that time, I was driving tr medical transportation. So why would my family and my mother say that, oh, Carrie now work? <sighs> Huh? Why would you say, oh, carry now work? Like, me not up to nothing. 
So that's why nobody na call me when I go to function. Nobody na call me when I do family things because them always think I'm gonna have no money because Kerry na work. Um, you know, my dad did some. Dad said some. He had some terrible things to say all the time about everyone, especially me. But one thing, he wouldn't do stuff like this. This is too far. You don't need to do that. Like, I, I'm, I'm like, so hurt and beside myself about this because, you know, what do, what do you do about a situation like this? You understand? It's not like if I approach my mom, she's going to accept what I said to her and, 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 and you know, she's going to deny that she even said it. She's going to deny that she even said anything like that. She's not going to say to my face, her pride is too big and too full for her to even, for her to even like break down and say, oh, um, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. You know, I, I can't believe it. I'm, I, you know, you know, th this mess make me feel like I'm, I'm hurt. I'm, I'm seriously hurt and and then it was some other nasty things that was said about me and i'm just like wow wow what did i do other than be other than crawl out of her vagina and be her child she ain't had to do a whole bunch of stuff and dig me out of trouble she ain't had to raise me or nothing so it's not like she had gone through it with me or nothing. She raised me, so I don't understand. why. Like, why would you do that? Why would you talk about me like that? You know, I love my mom, but I sometimes I don't like her. Sometimes I hate her personality. Like, sometimes I hate the way she is. I hate the way she, her mouth has no filter. And sometimes she doesn't reason and, 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 and um, let me see, rationalize her words before she says it. You know, I, I just wish, you know, what what can I do? So I'm putting it on this platform because there's nothing else. There's nowhere else I can um, vent. So this is, you're my venting pole. Okay. So I shall be coming back to you with some more stuff to say because I can't take it no more. I've had enough. I'm just like over it. I'm over it. I can't do it no more. <laughs>